The long-rumored and covert marriage between the enigmatic billionaire Howard Hughes and the stunning actress Terry Moore has been confirmed in a sensational revelation that has set the world abuzz. Join Factsverse as we present Terry Moore's marriage to Howard Hughes finally confirmed. Their relationship Terry Moore, a teenage actress, and the enigmatic Howard Hughes, 23 years her senior, first met in a Hollywood restaurant in the late 40s. Moore, who was accompanied by her boyfriend, was introduced to Hughes by her agent. Initially believing the encounter to be a chance meeting, Moore later realized that with Hughes, nothing was left to chance. The initial meeting blossomed into a friendship, eventually becoming a great love, characterized by Hughes's eccentricity and grandiosity. The dashing billionaire introduced Moore to the world of aviation and his circle of pilot friends, but the charming man also had a dark side. Moore recalled him as a liar and someone who caused her considerable pain. At the time, she was too young and naive to recognize the cruelty in his actions. According to Moore's former manager, who later became a TV anchor, the couple exchanged vows in 1949 aboard a ship in international waters. The ceremony was conducted by the captain, leaving Moore uncertain about its legal validity. It was said that Hughes destroyed the wedding records in front of witnesses, who later signed affidavits supporting Moore's claim. Despite never officially divorcing, the couple experienced multiple breakups and reconciliations until they permanently separated in 1956. In subsequent years, both moved on to other relationships. Hughes married actress Jean Peters, and Moore wed Stuart Kramer, and together they had two sons. Hughes eventually passed away in 1976, leaving behind a massive fortune and a life shrouded in secrecy. Reflecting on her relationship, Moore admitted to the complexity of their love story, acknowledging it was her first experience of love, but she has mixed feelings about the past, saying she might have been just as happy if their paths had never crossed. Settlement Following Hughes's passing, Moore prepared to disclose a long-held secret, that she was the legal spouse of the late billionaire. Her revelation quickly made international headlines catapulting her into the spotlight. But in pursuit of a share of Hughes's substantial fortune, Moore found herself competing against 600 other individuals, all claiming connections to the tycoon, including alleged wives and children. At a news conference, Moore and her attorney, Arthur Leeds, presented a document that appeared to be a formal settlement from the 8th District Court in Nevada. This document supported Moore's assertion that her 1949 shipboard marriage to Hughes was legitimate and never annulled. Moore stated she and Hughes were wed by the yacht's captain off the shores of San Diego, and although they both subsequently married other partners, they never went through a legal divorce. Moore acknowledged her bigamist status and admitted her reluctance to initiate divorce proceedings due to her fear that Hughes would not let her go. Leeds stated that the formal agreement, signed by Hughes's blood relatives and other interested parties, settled in Moore's favor. The relatives acknowledged Moore and Hughes's marriage and confirmed that it lasted until Hughes's death in 1976. Leeds added that Moore would receive payments before any other heirs, though the estate remained tied up in courts across California, Texas, and Nevada. Though the exact amount was undisclosed, Moore claimed the settlement was substantial enough to support her for the rest of her life. She was later invited to a news conference at the Beverly Hills Hotel, where she was introduced by her press agent, Monroe Friedman, as Mrs. Howard Hughes, clad in a pink jumpsuit and striped jacket and carrying a single long-stemmed rose, Moore expressed her joy at finally being recognized as Howard's wife. Other Marriages Moore's romantic history included a marriage to West Point football legend Glenn Davis in 1951 in a Mormon ceremony. She later claimed in a court affidavit that she was pressured into the marriage by the studio and only stayed with Davis for two months before returning to Hughes. After divorcing Davis in 1952, she went on to marry insurance man Eugene McGrath in 1956 and later financier Stuart Kramer III in 1959, also in a Mormon ceremony. Interestingly, Kramer had previously been married to actress Jean Peters, who later became Hughes's wife. Moore explained in a court affidavit that her subsequent marriages to Kramer and McGrath were driven by her desire to have children, which Hughes didn't permit. She maintained she never believed she was no longer married to Hughes during these relationships. It was reported Moore became pregnant with Hughes's baby after their marriage but tragically lost it, a girl born three months prematurely. Throughout the prolonged legal disputes following Hughes's passing, Moore experienced significant emotional strain, 
which left her in a vulnerable state. Her manager at the time, Richard Carey, seized the opportunity and persuaded the lonely actress to marry him, despite being married to someone else himself. In a hasty decision, they crossed over the border to Tijuana, Mexico for a quick ceremony. Almost immediately, Moore recognized the enormity of her mistake, but it was too late. Carey was revealed to be a career criminal, and although their marriage only lasted three days, Moore faced a drawn-out ordeal. Not only had Carey stolen $200,000 from her, but he also left a trail of other victims. Moore eventually returned to court to testify against her former husband. Midlife Crisis as Moore neared her 40s, her opulent lifestyle, filled with servants, luxurious vacations, and high society events, came to an abrupt end. Her marriage to the affluent Stuart Kramer had dissolved, leaving her to fend for herself and provide for her two young sons. But the situation wasn't as dire as she initially thought. Moore wasn't living destitute. She resided in a Brentwood mansion that she had purchased with cash. Despite this, she saw herself as financially strapped since the once immaculate house was now lacking the staff to maintain it. Despite having $2 million in her bank account, she was gripped by anxiety. The money was tied up in trusts inaccessible to her, leading her to fear she would soon be left penniless and destitute. Following her divorce, she confronted some harsh truths, one of which was the march of time. While raising her children, Moore had put her career on the back burner, only taking occasional roles when her schedule permitted. But she yearned for a return to the limelight and found out the golden age of Hollywood had come to an end. She found herself competing with a new generation of younger actresses. Comeback Under the guidance of her charismatic new manager, Jerry Rivers, she embarked on a career renewal plan. Rivers's innovative ideas and enthusiasm provided a much-needed boost. The rejuvenation process began with Moore penning a tell-all book, The Beauty and the Billionaire, revealing the tantalizing details of her life with Howard Hughes. Later, she boldly posed for Playboy. Having felt insecure about aging for years, she finally had a daring reason to bear it all. The photo shoot was so successful, the magazine asked her to pose again at 65, but Moore declined, content with making her point once. And as the cherry on top, her name appeared on the cover as Terry Moore Hughes. Despite making her way into the limelight, Moore still longed for the bygone days of Hollywood, reminiscing about a time when the notion of cool was on another level. In 2017, when Terry reached 90, she fearlessly took on a demanding role in the period drama Silent Life. She not only had to memorize 60 pages of dialogue, but she also filmed during a sweltering summer heat wave. She played the legendary Lady in Black, a mystery-veiled woman known for leaving red roses at the gravesite of silent screen icon Valentino. Now it's time to hear from you. Which part of this story was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.